flinch, whether it's road or home, but, uh, you know, it's guys really fought through the ups and downs of the year and, you know, Shakur's out five weeks with an injury. Dante's out a long time with injuries. Uh, CJ's back. Uh, now Chris's finger, you know, the, the guys fought through all that and stayed together. Peyton did a tremendous job and guys have played the roles that, that we've asked them to as coaches, which is sometimes hard to do for really talented guys. But uh, um, it was really good effort and uh, really proud of the team. Hey, did you have any doubt about how they'd be tonight after you've clinched a share of the title already? Well, you know, I, I told him, I said, uh, nine times out of ten, being selfish is, is a bad thing. But this one time, you know, is it's a good thing. We, we don't need to share this with anybody. And uh, and the guys, you know, I I thought they'd be ready to go. They, we had a good shoot around today. And and, uh, and then after shoot around, they all watched and, and mm-hmm. saw – uh, USC hit the shot, so you know they they knew we were going to get at least a share of it. But uh, you know, I thought they came out ready to play and and did a good job. And the seniors, you know, I thought weren't going to let them. You know, uh, they they wanted this, and I thought they did a good job. Anything different from the first game, Dana? That I think that's still the season low in shooting. It obviously, really struggled from three, but tonight, I mean, 50% from three. So it's yeah. Really no, we, we our our ball movement. You know, Chris had some really good looks. He just was shooting it bad. You know, they really did a good job on Peyton there. His his twenty one shots were tough ones. Uh, we missed a lot of shots inside. You know, and then defensively, the second half we gave up forty two points and and easy baskets. You know, as poorly as we played offensively, I thought we played worse defensively. You know, so um, no, I. Thought we got to the basket. You know, Dante makes a big difference too. You know, I mean, him going four for four and, you know, clogging up the middle, I, I thought he was tremendous tonight. Two weeks ago after the Arizona game, I heard you on the radio with Joey asking the fans to really come out for this last home stand. What does it mean to see them pour the love on the side? No, stage? no, the fans have been good. You know, we, um, in these late games, heck, I got to take a nap to, to get to them. You know, it, uh, um, you know, makes it tough on, on Portland and, you know, people to drive down. But really appreciate the people who show up. You know, our, our fan base has been good to us. And, um, you know, undefeated at home. And, you know, there were a couple times we were in bad shape and, and the energy in the building really picked us up. So um, students were good. Pit crew was good. You know, and that, that's what college basketball, that's why the winning percentage is so good at, at, for the home team. You know, the, the excitement, the energy that they provide uh, makes a big difference. These last three games give you a good feeling heading into. Like, do you feel like these three at home kind of a little bit more consistently in terms of performance stacked up together? Yeah, you know, I carry over, you know, it carried over last year. Every team's different, though, you know, and uh, I told this team, you know, we, we don't want to relax, you know, we want to. Again, go down and swing away in the tournament and, and do the best we can. Um, so, you know, I, I don't think they'll let down. I think they'll be ready to go. And uh, whether, you know, we, we've played a little better offensively. And like I said, throwing it into Dante, four for four inside helps us a little bit. Um, so I think we're playing a little better offensively, defensively at times. Uh, we picked up the rebounding in the second half, you know, uh, to end up winning by eight. So, uh, you know, those are the keys. You know, you're not going to shoot it good every night. And, you know, the adrenaline starts flowing on those neutral sites. And, you know, Vegas has been pretty good to us. But, you know, we've won a few games just grinding them out with defense. You know, there's been a number of nights we haven't shot it very well in Vegas or Staples before that or the NCAA tournament. And, you know, you're just not going to shoot it good every night. So you better be ready to, to guard and beat people at boards. It's the only way you can – put three games together because uh, you can't count on shooting it well every night. A month ago, you, you weren't pleased defensively. How, how far have you guys have grown in the last maybe two or three weeks, you feel like? Well, you know, I, I think at times, you know, we really are locked in and do some good things. And, you know, tonight we didn't run shooters that we knew were going to shoot it off the three. You know, the first half, they were five for seven. And, and I thought a couple easy looks that, you know, guys just weren't sharp. Um, 
Second half, I thought we were a little better. But uh, uh, no, I, I think we've made progress. Um, and, you know, our activity was pretty good. Uh, we got some steals tonight, 11 steals. You know, we just didn't turn them into points like I wanted to. I thought we had some bad turnovers, which hurt us. But I, I think we've made, you know, progress defensively. Um, you know, I, I think we can get better, though. You know, I know time's running short. But, you know, our challenge, you know, as we play these teams in the conference tournament and, and moving on is to continue to get better. And, uh, you know, I hope we can do that. Well, I mean, offensively, uh, you know, his efficiency numbers, you know, I mean, told him he shouldn't have missed that free throw. He could have got 30 tonight, you know. I mean, he uh, 8 for 16, 50%, 4 for 9 from 3, 9 from 10 from the field. Um, he had a couple careless turnovers, but five assists, you know. I mean, in his complete game, defensively, he's talking, he's trying to fight things in the post uh, when we're doing some switching. Um, uh, he's, he's played tremendous. He's a player of the year in the conference. And, you know, I, I know he's up for some player of the years in the, in the country. And, you know, I don't watch all the games. I don't see all the games. But he's meant as much to our team as <laughs> any player that, that I've come across. And uh, he's had a tremendous year. And I know there's a lot of great players, but you know, I'm a little biased. And, you know, I, I think he's as, as good as anybody in the country. And, um, and I sure hope that uh, he gets that kind of recognition. What does it mean to finally be able to, to head down the net to back in that arena to clinch this title? Well, it's good for the guys. Uh, I didn't get up there. I was afraid I'd fall off. Uh, so, uh, no, I, it's good for the fans, and it's you know, good for the guys. Uh, you know, the first one we won, we were at USC, and, and um, I remember where we were with the 16 and 2. Where were we? Oregon State. Oregon State. So, um, you know, I did. You know, I like it for the guys. I like it for the fans. Um, you know, so uh, symbolic of accomplishing something. And you know, I told the guys. You know, I'd been fortunate. I'm coached 40 years. I haven't won that many. Or my teams haven't. You know, so uh, it means a lot to me. And I told them I hope it means a lot to them because. Uh, the University of Oregon, you know, we just we haven't cut down the nets that often, and uh, any chance we get, you know, but we'd sure like to keep it going when that's three and five years, and and uh, you know, for us to continue to do that, we need to continue to develop players, and continue to get good players, and have a few stay like Peyton and and really develop. So, uh, but I'm I'm happy for everybody. It was a good game. Well, he's, he's, you got to make great decisions. You know, you got to be ready to pass. Uh, you got to make the basketball play that's there. And, you know, I think he's really done that. You know, uh, he started last year just relaxed, you know, finally got relaxed and put the pressure and just making basketball plays. His instincts are really good, but you can't determine, well, I'm going to shoot it this time or I'm going to pass it this time. You, you got to take what the defense gives you. And, and he's just done a tremendous job of, of making the right decision most of the time. And uh, uh, as much as the ball's in his hands, you know, to make the decision that often that well is, is tough. But he's in tremendous condition. You know, he's, he's always in the gym. Um, he, he complimented Evan, our weightlifting coach, and Evan's done a tremendous job. Uh, he's wiry strong. You know, he's cut his body fat. He's, He's done those things that Dylan Brooks did, uh, you know, to play 40 minutes. And uh, so just a big compliment to him to, to, to make those steps. How have you found success with transfer players? Well, they, they you know, Anthony and, and Shakur, you know, came here with a purpose. You know, they, they wanted to go to the tournament, you know, and uh, 
They wanted to be part of a championship. And when you got players like that that know they only got one year left, um, you know, they're all in, you know. And, uh, you know, we've been really fortunate with our transfers. They're, they're guys that want to be here. You know, they appreciate Oregon. You know, it, uh, you know our guys got it pretty good. You know, they, they eat pretty good. They, we travel pretty good. Uh, uh, we play a pretty good schedule. Uh, university's wonderful to them. You know, our guys got it pretty good. And, you know, guys coming in from New Mexico and Vegas, you know, they get here and they go, whoo, that's got a pretty good, pretty good spot to come, you know. So uh, I think they appreciate it. And it's, you know, it started with Olu and DeVoe Joseph, you know, nine years ago. And, you know, we, we've been just really fortunate to, to get really good guys. And Anthony and Shakur, you know, they just gave us that maturity, you know, and that sense of urgency that we needed this year. You know, our freshmen are going to be good. Uh, they're talented, but, you know, you're playing against talented teams. You know, we go to the Bahamas, we're playing Seton Hall, who's all vets. You know, you need some vets. And uh, fortunately, we've got some guys in the wings, Eugene and Eric, who are a little older, and I think next year will really give us a big boost. And, you know, if our freshmen keep developing, you know, we, we can have a lot of fun. Well, I've done this a long time, and you know he's he's in the top ten. I've you know I've been really appreciative of the the tone he set, you know, and I think the word culture is so overused, but uh, you know he's just done a good job of setting an example, and uh, you know, I, I, you know it's hard to describe, but you know just he's first one to practice. A lot of times he's the last one to leave. You know, days off, you know, he's taking care of himself. He's doing his recovery. He's getting shots up, you know. Uh, there's no shortcut to being a good shooter. I mean, you got to get the right form, but the, the hours it takes and the shots you get up to be a good shooter, there is no shortcut. And uh, he believed that, trusted that, and, and he puts a lot of time in. Shots? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you're, you're thinking, uh, you know, on an average day, you know, I, I, I wouldn't say that you'd get, you know, anywhere from three to 500, you know, shots. You know, so <laughs> you start adding those together, you know, it's, it's a lot of shots. And the summer, you know, you'd work out in the morning and go to school and then come back and shoot again. You know, I mean, um, my math's not real good, but I, uh, he's put up a lot. And, uh, um, you, know, you know, that also goes to our managers. You know, Tripp went out there. He's been with us three years. Those guys are always accessible. They, they're, you know, our players can call them. They'll set up the gun. They'll come rebound for them. Um, you know, they're, they're so valuable in the time they put in. But... Peyton would tell you, there's so many times there, he's got three of them rebounding for him and one running at him to challenge the shot and, uh, you know, throwing him bad passes so he has to catch it in a different spot and shoot it. Um, but those managers did a tremendous job. All right, we'll see you in Vegas.